asking or saying that when they open up FireTuner, they're not getting anything. What you're seeing right now, this is FireTuner coming up, not connected, because I have the game set to work a little differently. So, in my case, Now there is everything that I've got. Now we've already gone over. Opening a panel is under your Steam games, wherever you put it. Uh, Civ 6, debug. However, under your documents, see where it says Firaxis Live Tuner? Go in there. That is where and why is that coming up oh because it's showing tuner panels nothing there close that this is what you would see panel config and user settings so i'm going to close that i'm going to delete the two files yep and then i'm going to launch fire tuner again let me just bring it over. This is where I gotta fiddle with it. So now when I go and change my connection to... I'm connected, but I got nothing. So now, file, open panel. And first thing we always want is World Builder. Open. There's everything. Now, open panel again. Come on. Player, singular. This is one where you get to have all the fun. And so on and so forth. So that's really it you know now you just go ahead and start fiddling around and if you don't want one of the things i'm going to open one up here open panel autoplay i never use it then i decide no i don't want it see up here top right close panel which doesn't show up in the thing very well i can just hit the thing with the big x Boop, and it's gone. So as far as changing like main state and all the rest, I don't fiddle with those. Leave it at main state. I haven't looked to see what the rest of them do. But again, the big thing is look in documents, live for access live tuner, and that's where see documents live tuner okay right now it's empty close fire tuner open it up again and now ta-da there they are so you can even see it happen blip yes connection I tried to load. And that's the out part. I guess because it was already there. And when I quit, boom! Comes right back. So, that is pretty much it. I'm going to bring it back up and get all my panels up. Yeah, get over here. Open panel, 
unit, where are you? Unit open. <laughs> Units are handy. Open panel. World Builder City. Because that's one where I can go and muck about with the cities themselves. Uh, what else? Uh, map. I can't remember if it's map or not. Uh, no, not players, not network, not modifiers. I don't fiddle with that too much. That's pretty much it. Oh, diplomacy. That one's kind of handy just to go look at to see, like, why do they hate me so much? And what else was there? can't remember if map does anything or not. Yeah, this one, the map is kind of redundant with World Builder, but it's there. So that's really it. So if you're not getting anything, you know, especially if you're only getting player, then go and delete those two files and try again. Now, the other important thing is bring this back up when you go into I'm just gonna get this off the screen for a second while I go look for it uh, where are we here where's my games there we are is it all right now under in your documents folder or same thing under library my games Civilization 6, App Options Text. Okay, I can move this out of here. Do, 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 do. Everything that's highlighted in blue under debug, you need that. So enable Fire Tuner, enable Tuner, one. Enable Debug Menu, one. If you don't have those two, it's not going to work. So, now, the nifty little thing, of course, I might as well cover this while we're at it, is you can see that I changed my connection from the standard local host to something else. That is so that I can connect to it. For example, if I'm running Civilization 6 on my other machine under Linux, I can bring up Fire Tuner here and connect. Now, all right, I'm just going to turn Fire Tuner off for a second while I bring up Steam. And all right, bring it back up. If you right click on Civilization 6 and set launch options, you'll see that I have dash tuner IP and then my local IP number. So you can, whatever that is, because otherwise the game runs hard coded at 127.0.0.1. This tells it listen on this address. So, on my other machine, I had use a different one because obviously different IP. This will let you then run it on two different machines. Or, in my case, FireTuner is Windows only. I can be playing under Linux, run FireTuner over here, and I can affect the game there. And I did that on one of them before. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to get both streams onto one Twitch. Not without using a, a multi-stream thing, but blip, don't need that. Don't need that. Shrink that. That's it. So, two little things today. Again, if you have any questions, by all means, go ahead and post it. This will be going up on YouTube, of course. You can either post it on YouTube, or if you're a subscriber, you can also post questions on my Twitch page. So which surprisingly enough is twitch.tv slash uh, 
Canadian blue beer. I need more coffee. <laughs> Not warm enough to, yet to go sit outside and have a beer. Oh, that's going to happen. And that's about it. So I said it'd be short. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.